In this video, I'm going to show you how an artist completely changed his career with one simple strategy on TikTok. And if you don't watch this whole thing, what can I say? You can't be serious about your career because all of this information is free. But if you put it to practice, it works. Watch every single detail and then do it. It's the mat work. TikTok is constantly changing, but it's getting better and better for artists. For instance, this artist got over 60 million views on one single video, and because of it now has over 2 million monthly listeners on Spotify and even got signed to a record label. How did he do this? That's what we're going to break down in this video, but I can tell you it wasn't running ads. It wasn't doing an influencer campaign. All he did was post content and know what kind of content to post. So how can you do that? I'll show you. But first, check out the video that made him go viral. What if this song? He called me again, drunk in the bench. Was R&B. Now, obviously, that was an amazing cover, but when you're trying to figure out how you can mimic and create success for yourself as an artist, you don't want to just copy exactly the moment that all the big things happen for an artist. You want to get a better understanding of where they started and how they got there so you can make it happen for yourself. So, yeah, Austin is now at 1.9 million followers, but let's rewind and check out a couple of things first. Check out his first post ever on TikTok. All right, he actually did a cover of TLC's No Scrubs. Not gonna play it for long, but just get a little context. A scrub is a guy who thinks he's life is also known as a buster. All right, and he's posting covers, he's posting just little clips of his music, literally just audio. He's going through this process, right? This is pure experimentation. He has some random videos. Hopping on, hopping on trends, all these things exist. Showing his, his studio, communicating, all these things are the first phase, experimentation. And when you experiment, at some point, you have to take all of that information and figure out what did best from there. Eventually, what does he do? He gets to a point where he realizes people really like when I do covers. This might not be for you and everybody, but that's what he starts to land on. And... That's the first step. One, you experiment. Second, you analyze. And then you bring that stuff together. And this is where he started. I got my peach in South Georgia. Oh, yeah, shit. I get my weed from California. That's that shit. I All right. All right. And you see he has more um, videos of him doing peaches. He, he's doing other songs and covers. Sometimes he's actually doing his own music, mixing that in. Please note that you want to mix yourself in um, your actual music throughout this process. You don't have to wait till you blow up to drop your music. And this is what the ground zero of the process looks like. And we're going to go all the way to the top. But ground zero is literally I'm just getting out there posting. I'm finding things, throwing things against the wall. Then I begin to figure out, oh, they like when I do this. This is getting a good response. I do that thing. But then the next level after you do that thing is tweaking that thing that's working just a little bit to improve it. So you saw the original cover. Let's show it another one. This is meet me at our spot by the anxiety as an R&B song. Just looking at these things visually, you can see that he went from doing covers in a more of a random way to finding a consistent format and look that he wanted to create when he did his covers. And this is a huge lesson because I see too many artists do something well one time, it performs great, and then they keep moving and don't do it again. And then I see even more artists at least understand that there's something there and I should probably try to repeat it, but they just do it exactly in that format, not understanding you can improve on that format over time. You'll see Austin do this even more, and this is what led to his blow up. So check this out. So what if this song was R&B? It's literally the exact same song, and guess what? He only posted them 
two days away from each other. The first one was posted October 27th, 2021. And the second was posted October 29th, 2021. Two days away from each other. One did 423,000 views and the other one did 1.8 million views. That's how big of an impact the small difference of changing your format can make. And he even found some big successes out of this over time. He had a really big cover doing Britney Spears Toxic that actually got to about 2 million views. He did a Paramore song that got over a million views and a couple of others that just performed a lot better than his old numbers. So again, check this out. This consistent look you're starting to see and then he evolves and he has this consistent look that you're starting to see that he's experimenting and tweaking with that same format, right? And then fast forward, he gets here. And then check this out, three videos into him switching into this new format, he does 61.5 million views, right? But that's what the process looks like. Format is everything when it comes to TikTok and it's even the smallest adjustments. So you're thinking, oh, I'm doing covers, but they're not performing well or they're performing well, but I'm hitting the ceiling. It's probably a tweak to how you're presenting your cover or what the background looks like, how you're dressed that could literally make all the difference. Or if you're doing a skit, whatever type of video, these small differences make a massive difference massive impact in november when he went super viral with the billy eilish cover he had already worked himself up to about a hundred thousand followers and this is a note to make right what you're going to find on tiktok over time building yourself building yourself you're going to have a better chance of give, going even more viral as you build so your big big viral moment is usually going to happen when you have at over 50,000 followers, over 100,000 followers. But once you get in that range, 50,000, 100,000, even like 30,000, you can have massive moments. You don't have to have a million to do something huge, right? We have plenty of other artists that have done huge things with literally about 40,000 followers, 50,000 followers and went super viral with tens of millions of views on their on their actual videos. So that's something to keep in mind when it comes to the impact here. All that work, all that tweaking, all that growth is getting you to a point where you have the ability to go super viral and change everything. Because again, in November, he had about 100,000 followers. He posted this got an additional 150,000 followers throughout that month and in December the very next month because as this thing continued to go and go and build he got over a million followers in that month alone that's how fast TikTok can move for you so that work up that build up even though it might feel slow at first when it happens it can happen big and happen extremely fast all right before i finish the rest of this breakdown i gotta take a quick pause and let you know about beatopia because if you need beats not just from any random producer but from hit making producers for a great price there is a new player in town beatopia is the very first subscription platform for rappers and singers who needs beats yes i'm talking about netflix for beats while other beat platforms charge you anywhere from 20 to 40 dollars just for the mp3 and a limited numbers of streams beatopia offers you five downloads for just 15 dollars per month and we're talking about the real deal. You're going to get the wave file, the stems and full rights so you can get your streams on Spotify, YouTube and SoundCloud. And these are from people who have producer credits on songs with Kehlani, Gunna, WizKid, Polo G, Ty Dolla Sign and more. So to celebrate their launch, you got to check out Beatopia. It's the easiest and new way to put out high quality music for a low cost. And not to mention, to celebrate their launch, Beatopia is giving away a full home studio for the one lucky winner. So enter that competition via the link below. And if you're skeptical when I say there's really dope beats from really accomplished producers, you can always just go to the site and check out the beats yourself. You don't have to actually download or pay for anything. Just check out the beats. Judge for yourself. But first, of course, make sure you finish this video. Now, here's the next note. You see that there's so many of these posts, right, with that new format that really popped off. Well, guess what? Just because you had a viral moment doesn't mean that all the work is done. That's actually when things are just beginning. And this is when I see so many artists messed up. But Austin did very well with this because you see all these posts in the new format, right? Well, guess what? A lot of these new posts aren't just him doing new songs or other covers. They're actually the same song 
over and over again, but he's presenting them in new ways. Check out a few of these videos that introduce the same song in different ways or refer back to a viral moment. If you saw this video. You call me again, drunk in your bed. Then you're seeing this one for a reason too. Sit down. Let's talk it out a third time this week. What if this cover? You call me again, drunk in your bed. Was vocals only. He call me again. Oh, y'all know that one dude that be on here changing all the songs into R and B. Um, some white dude that he go hard, bro. He's good. Y'all know who I'm talking about. He be saying like, "What if this song was R and B?" I actually can't believe 17 percent of the U.S. population has seen this. He called me again, drunk in your bed. Y'all think Billy has seen it? And this is a part of the next step. You have to be creative because you constantly have to remind people of this moment and put this in people's face to continue to drive traffic to the music that you have, continue to get attention and keep them in your circle of influence. Austin posted some version of this video over 20 times referring back to it in all of these different creative ways because what you have to remember a lot of times you get tired of you before other people get tired of you you're experiencing your song all the time you're experiencing your videos every time and you feel like you're being pushy but everybody's not seeing it all the time and they're not seeing it at the same time and it's only like 15 seconds or 30 seconds or whatever on tiktok amongst so many other videos that they're scrolling so milk that moment right you go through the the experimentation at the beginning right? you find a format you tweak the format you experiment with new versions of the format you tweak again and you exploit 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 you have to milk it once you find that moment that works and while you do this though it doesn't mean you just post this type of video you also want to continue to entertain at the same time with different types of content so if you check out austin he also did new covers of different songs in that same format that worked though he continued to use the format that worked but he still brought new content because he didn't want to just be seen for that exact cover because at the end of the day when you have a viral piece of content whether it's a song a cover or any type of video you want to continue to show people other parts of yourself throughout that but you don't want to stop milking that viral moment for everything you can get out of it Trust me, when these windows open up, they don't occur often and you have to take everything you can because when it closes, it will close. And the beauty about all this is, yes, it takes work to post content on TikTok, but it doesn't cost any money. This is a single best strategy for an artist to use who is trying to come up in the game that doesn't have all the advantage of someone who's signed already or has big investors and all that stuff. So let's go through this process one more time and then I'm going to show you a couple things that also that should help encourage you on how you can benefit from this process. So number one, you want to actually put your content out there just to experiment, right? You got to put some things out there. Number two, you analyze to find out which of this content is seeming to work best for you. Number three, you double down on that content that's looked to work best for you. As you begin to start to see consistent results from that type of content, then number four, you actually analyze again and then five tweak. So it's a rinse repeat process at the very beginning because you're tweaking that exact same piece of content to improve how you present that content. You're not starting all over and going to find something else. Right. And you can literally tweak, analyze, tweak, analyze the exact same type of content for months. If you look back at Austin's profile, you'll see that's exactly what he did. And there were at least 15 posts in each version of the format before he switched it up and tried something new because you need enough information. You need to, you know, just give something a fair shot before you just try to throw it away and try something new. And to be clear, you don't have to wait to the massive viral moment to see great impact on your streams. You can find fans along the way. If you look at this post from June 11th in 2021, 
Austin actually posted that his latest EP had achieved over 2.6 million streams. All right. Yes, that's not the over 2 million listeners he has now after the viral moment, but getting to over 2 million streams on an EP without ever having to have a massive viral moment, without ever having to do anything but post content is a massive achievement because that music was just his original music. And last but not least, on TikTok, you never know who's watching. As someone in the industry, myself, I know a lot of people in very high places that are constantly paying attention to who's moving and what's happening on TikTok. In Austin's case, Phineas, Billie Eilish's brother, actually even shouted him out after he got signed. You have people like Charlie Poof showing him love on the actual post that went viral. These are the possibilities that come from TikTok. If you aren't taking it seriously or you just would love more information on TikTok, we have a lot of information on his channel. I'll put a couple videos up here. For TikTok, there's a full playlist on how you leverage it, how you format your videos, and things to think about so you can build your own voice on the platform to get results like Austin. So make sure you check out those videos if you appreciate this type of content because we only create more content on TikTok if we're seeing people actually appreciating the content on TikTok if it's actually helping the community and the best way to judge that is if people are actually watching the videos so check them out